My name is Joel Venema and um, agriculture sales at Handler's Equipment in Abbotsford. We sell a wide range of farm equipment, tractors, um, telehandlers, excavators, wheel loaders, uh, you name it, we got it. What regions do you serve? Greater Vancouver, Fraser Valley, and uh, parts of northern BC. We have a satellite dealer up there, um, as well as uh, partners with uh, Tractor Time on Vancouver Island, Victoria. Uh, I see you've got lots of Mahindi stuff here today. You want to tell us what we're looking at? Sure. Um, yeah, we've got our 1635, kind of our blueberry special with uh, a Florida sprayer, 800 liter spray tank on the back. And uh, we've got our 55 horse Mahindra out in the back, as well as a couple compact tractors, 26 and 20 horse, some of the smaller hobby farm uh, units. Great, and I see some construction equipment over there as well. We do, there. yeah. We've got our 25.6 uh, Daiichi telehandler out of Italy and our 60 size Hyundai uh, excavator, as well as one of our 955 uh, Hyundai wheel loaders out front, um, outside. Awesome, can you tell yeah. me more about the Daiichi and what people would get out of that than they wouldn't out of Sure. Sure. Um, I mean, it's uh, yeah the Daiichi. I mean, to be honest with you, the um, very uh, competitive in terms of or very similar products in terms of you know where uh, where like the Manitou is and and uh, actually comes out of Italy, which is where uh, where the Merlot does. Um, but uh, yeah, really, really good product, good warranty. Um, yeah, we're. We're about a, just getting our feet wet with them, so we're about a year, year and a half in, but uh, excited, excited. We got lots of demos out of the show with them and excited to uh, kind of hit the ground running with those. Awesome. So. What about the Hyundai over there? Yeah, and the Hyundai, um, Hyundai really well known for the loaders, so the wheel loaders. So we've already got a few customers, uh, good customers in the sand and gravel industry and that sort of stuff, and uh, we're, we're excited about that. Excited to showcase the loader here uh, at the farm show too. Um, and. Uh, you know, hope to hope to see more out, more of them out in the dairy uh, in the dairy farms and, and that sort of thing. So uh, again, real excited with the show. Great. What's the the advantage for you to come to a show like the Pacific Agriculture Show? Exposure. So obviously, uh, it, it's a it's a very popular show. So we've been doing it uh, for about ten years now, and uh, keep growing our booth space as our product lines grow and. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, you know, you meet old customers and, and, you know, the competitors and you see what everyone's doing in the industry and, you know, showcase your stuff and, you know, you really have to, you got to be here. So. Um, we've noticed a lot of technology and speaking with other vendors, it's sort of like the, the new forefront, I'll call it. Uh, what have you seen out there that's kind of like interesting in your position? Um, yeah, I actually found out today that there's, there's new spray systems that are actually flown through with drones. So I actually didn't even know that. So... Um, excited to go down and see what that's all about just because we deal a lot with spray equipment and stuff so um, having uh, drones flying over and spraying crops is, uh, is, is interesting so uh, I thought that was kind of cool. Awesome. What's sort of the reaction people are uh, giving to you when they come to your booth today? The, uh, just excited to see the equipment and you know we try and have new things here all the time and, and uh, yeah old customers, new customers and, and you know try and just have some different stuff here and something something exciting or something different to see than than you'd see kind of anywhere else. So, how would you describe this show to somebody who's never been to it before? Um, I think it's great. I think it's I think it's a it's an awesome show if you're in the in the in the farming industry, but it's just just in general if you if you want to learn more or bring your kids out. You know, there's petting zoos. There's you know there's they have the bobcat square dance and you know they have it's it's fun and they got lots of stuff going on.